Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Let's kick into this summer and have a great one. Cultivate wisdom. This is a great card, man. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you come, become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 210, NASDAQ off 51, S&P's down 23, gold contract down $14.90 at $18.42 an ounce. You got silver down 56 cents, $21.53 an ounce. Light sweet crude, $115.16 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 22 ticks, trading 119.25. The 30-year off a full point and a half at 140.12. And King Dollar. King Dollar up 102 ticks, trading 101.770. The euro is out here at 107. The yen is at 127.65. And the British pound is trading at a price point of 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. and the world of the S&Ps, folks, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, we get a sideways market out here. I know that sounds insane because we know we've been up so, I mean, down so much. And, you know, we're still down, uh, you know, 20 S&P points. But this is a sideways market, folks. That's the bottom line. My take here, this is the building cost, your next leg lower. This is, if you're, anyway, that's, that's where this is shaking out. Uh, it got over the highs of uh, last Friday, you know, at 84 million shares. Right now, today, you're at 58 million. You'll probably do about 68 million, somewhere around there. And I expect you're going to see this the next couple of days, too, man. That's, that's the bottom line, because we're at the window dressing. NDX 100, we look at, take a look at the three Qs, same type of setup with the three Qs. Bottom line, we take a look at the three Qs. The three Qs right now are down 34 cents. You have done 45 million shares on Friday. We uh, did... 66 million, and by the way, say even 66 million is light, light volume. Uh, bottom line, going sideways, I expect more sideways movement uh, be, than that is the building cause of lower prices coming at you. Gold contract, gold contract's not holding price, man. I mean, this is pretty incredible when the dollar is lower. So we have with gold, bottom line, you're down 15 bucks. You got 183,000 contracts trade. That's a lot of contract volume. Now, you're going into its strength. But let's take a look at this, because what you have here, you're coming in, and you're coming in, well, actually, this is, this is, this is definitely the new contract now. But the bottom line is that, let's see, yeah, you, you definitely, this is, this, okay, well, I talk about this a lot, how once you get into a bar, the bottom of the line, you, can, you get too far to buy, you're going to go to the bottom of the bar. The buy that we're into was strength, and it had a lot more volume than you're looking here because it's a different contract. But the top of that bar was 18.54. Well, guess what? We're at 18.42. That's saying we're going to go to 18.14. And I suspect you'll get down there. You'll probably have lighter volume when we get down there. We go take a look at the dollar index. Dollar index hasn't been able to hold price. Uh, bottom line got to a price point of 102.166 today. Now, you, bottom line, you're at 101.770. That's setting up. Let me just see if this lines up. This would be going to be wild if it lines up right down to the 99. So you got 105 as an A, 101. So you got basically four. It does. It actually lines up 98. This is probably just set up an A, B, C. A is going to be the high. B is going to be the low of Friday. C is probably the high of today because that brings it right down to where big support is. And if that's what we get, the bottom line, we should get more movement inside of the commodity market. Now, check it out. So you had Goldfields buying Yamada Gold. Well, Goldfields right now is trading down $2.87. Market doesn't like it. That's the bottom line. Um, and the thing that's intriguing about this for all of us that are in the gold market is this. Okay, so we get GFI coming down to the bottom of its consolidation. Now, the good news is that GFI has a high volume high at 1720. The bad news is that GFI right now is on an ABC structure down, and that would get you 1610. Yeah. 6, 
Uh, you're talking. You're talking like six bucks, six ninety three. So this is dangerous, man. And six ninety three gets you the highs of uh, going all the way back to um, March twenty twenty. And now watch this. If you go to Yumana, and this is this is the thing that's really concerning about the whole deal as to what these companies are actually worth. Yamada, okay, is getting taken over, and this was a stock transaction. So it was a friendly transaction, stock to stock, okay? And the bottom line is that you can see Yamada hasn't moved. Uh, they were paying Yamada a 34% premium. Big freaking deal, right? I mean, a 34% premium in equity when these equities have been down anyway. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the bottom line. Um, so... That doesn't say that there's a lot of confidence right now inside of the metals market. That's a, it's a huge heads up, folks. That's the real bottom line. Because what does happen is that when you have one company taking over another company, what they want to basically start seeing is that, okay, what are companies valuing other companies for? That's, that's the kicker. Let's go take a look at Amazon for a few of the targets because we have Amazon is going to be doing its split this coming Friday. You get Amazon right now. It's so it's off that low of 2025. You're at 2400. Only Amazon can go up 400 points in four days. We put this on. Let me put this on a monthly because that my take is that this still wants to probably get into that high volume low. So let's see 2475. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be biting on Amazon just yet. That's telling me that this thing wants to test again. Because 124 million, we went into, well, this is the last day of the month, man, this is a trip. So we went into its swing point, and we're going to have like 10 million shares lighter. You know, so you can, it's a tough one, man. I mean, if you're going to buy it here, you know, I put a stop right underneath it. Um, because this can still test the lows. And it looks 2033, 2025. Oh, that's what it did right there. Hey, stay right there. We'll come back with Amazon. Stay right there, folks.